Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and today we are working on part three of our poncho, the Rustaman Vibrations poncho. <laughs> Don't forget the name Mary. And part three is fairly different than what you have seen so far. Yes, we've done our grannies. They look gorgeous. We've joined them. We did slip stitch um, our last thread and I told you not to cast off. If you have cast off, you're going to have to re-thread or restart again with the same thread. Oh, <laughs> that was all about. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Getting violent here in my old age. Um, <laughs> you need your four millimeter hook that we've been using all along. You will need your scissors, you will need a stitch marker and you will need, yes, that darning sewing weaving needle. Not a lot for this one. Not like we did for the other ones. <laughs> we had to weave in all those ends that took me like forever <laughs> all right so go right back to where we started from remember that last thread i said to you slip stitch and chain one if i haven't we're going to do that again just so that you know what we're doing okay oh it's been in there for so long okay it's look at that it's been pulling <laughs> slip stitch into the top of that stitch pull the loop through pull it through to the loop on your hook chain one now I said chain one, but only because I wanted you to hold your thread there, but I actually need you to chain three. So one, two, and three. Okay. For the next two stitches you see there, we are going to be double crocheting two together. That's yarn over your hook, pop it in the stitch, the first stitch you see, which is the two loops, pull up a loop. You've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, hold it there. Normally we would yarn over and we'd pull it through and that'll be the end of our double crochet. We're not going to do that. We're going to yarn over, pop it in the stitch, pull up our loop. One, two, three, four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. You've got three loops. Yarn over, pull through the last three loops. Now, before you continue, I would like you to pop a stitch marker right in that big solid stitch that we just worked in. Okay, so that's that. That section is now worked in. Later when we join, we're not joining to the stitch there. We're going to join right into that stitch where the stitch marker is. Okay. All right, now we chain three. One, two, and three. And then we're going to do that stitch again, except we're doing three together. So yarn over, pop it in the first space you see, or first stitch you see, start your stitch. Hold it there, yarn over, pop it in your second stitch. Now remember these are two together there, that's fine. Pop it in that stitch, wherever you see a V, without splitting it. <laughs> wherever you see a V, pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through the first two. Now you've got three loops. Yarn over again, pop it in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Now you've got one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, pull through the first two. So you've got one, two, three, four. Now yarn over goes through all four loops on your hook. Easy? No. <laughs> but you'll get it. Chain one, two, and three. Listen to me. You'll get it. <laughs> We're going to do exactly the same in one, two, and three. Pop your hook in. Pull up your loop. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over. Pop it in your next space. Or stitch, I should say. Pull a loop up. One, two, three, four, yarn over, pull through two. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pop it in your last stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull, oh, I'm sorry, not yarn over yet. One, two, three, four, five, then yarn over, pull through two. One, two, three, four, yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, chain one, two, and three. Guys, that is it. That is all you're doing in this row. Super, super easy. Now, being careful when you start your next stitch not to go into the last stitch that you were in. That's where your stitch is there. Okay, you've chained your three. You're going to make sure you don't go into that. Go into that very first stitch. One. Hold it there. Yarn over. Two. Hold it there. Yarn over. Three. And then through all four loops. Chain one, two, and three. 
we'll do a couple more so you don't get too confused don't go in that stitch there you're going straight into that very next one yes okay super easy one two three the confusing part is when you get to those middle bits it's not completely confusing because you can actually see the V's when you look up the top. There's one V, two V and three V's. So you've got your yarn over, pop it in your first V. It looks like a V, that's why we say V. Hold it there, yarn over, pop it in your second V. Hold it there, yarn over, pop it in your third V. Chain one two and three it's I won't say super easy because it isn't really super easy but it is repetitive so you really shouldn't have too much of a problem with it okay just keep going one two three until we get to the corner in fact I'm gonna send you off that's what you should be looking at now if yours is not looking that way like that I'll get a close-up for you if it's not looking like that then it's not right okay so continue grab your stitch marker all along here get to that last space right there just before the corner you don't want to do the corner yet just get to that space oh it doesn't want to close get to that space before the corner and I shall meet you up and we'll talk about what we're going to do in the corners all right all right how'd you go we only went uh, a short way so it wouldn't have taken you too long all right, so I asked you to get to that stitch marker right there. Just pop that stitch marker out now. I just wanted you to see what happens around the corner here. So it's a little bit different because we have to do this stitch first, all right? So it's, it's the same, really. It's one in there and you're one in the stitch, the next stitch, and you're one in the next stitch. So this part here is the same. All right, pull your lips through like normal. All right, now we're just popping one double crochet in the corner. Yes, and then one, two, three chains, and then another double crochet in the corner. And that's it for the corner. Now you're going to do your three together here, starting from here. One, two, and three chain one two and three and again three together super easy now yeah well I say super easy you know what you're doing okay let's just finish off this corner here I mean the section here one two three pull up that loop and let me show you what you need to do now okay let's see what we're going to do now all right this is what you've done so far all right super easy you got down here you did your chain your single crochet I'm um, sorry you did your double crochet chain three double crochet and that is pretty much all you're going to do for the rest of the row so continue in that manner all the way to this corner perform the corner that you did here in this corner and then continue all the way till you get to your stitch marker and I shall meet you up Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of the row. I have one cluster set left, which I'm going to do now. One, two, and three. Okay, all that through. Now you still need to chain three here to join into that stitch marker. So one, two, and three. And when we join in there, we are not going to pass the cream through. We are changing colours. Now, entirely up to you what colour you'd like to use. I'm choosing uh, this colour green, which is one of those right there. That's a nice little close-up right there. Doesn't matter. You can pick any colour you like. Really entirely up to you. Okay. So my next one is the green. So we are going to pull through the green instead of the cream. Now with the cream, you're going to leave again because you're going to need it in a uh, the next row. So pull the loop through there and pull it through the loop on your hook. So just grabbing the cream. Oh dear, I'm all messed up. <laughs> Grab the, the tail of the green 
and your cream just firstly giving it a tug giving them a tug oh take out that stitch marker for starters you don't need it there right now you will need it in a second though so don't let it go far away so grab the tail of your green and your leftover cream in one hand giving them a tug chaining one Okay, we're going to put a single crochet in that space right there, the same space that you've got your chain in. And your single crochet is, pop your hook in the space, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Very basic. Grab your stitch marker, pop it through your two loops of your single crochet. Okay, just drop your tail in for a minute. And now you're going to jump straight into that very big space that we made, chain space, with three single crochets. One, two, and three. Yes, now you're going to pop a single crochet in the stitch. That's your cluster stitch. Three in the space. One, two, three. And then one in the cluster stitch. Three in your space. Super easy row this one, two and three. One in the stitch, three in your space, one, two and three. Super easy stitch. All right, so what I would like for you to do, uh, grab a little stitch marker, get into that corner, all right? Just get to your very first corner right there and meet me up. Alrighty, here I am at the end of the row. I have to put three single crochets in there. Two and three. And then we've got the little cluster set here. One single crochet in the cluster set. Then when we jumped into the corner, we made a double crochet. So you're going to pop another single crochet in that stitch. There. And in the corner here, you are popping one, two, three, let me just remove that stitch marker first. So three. Chain two. One and two. And then one, two, three. Can come across a little crowded, but that's okay. Single crochet in your first, that stitch from your double crochet in the previous row. And then single crochet in your cluster set right there and then three single crochets across one two and three and then one in your stitch and three across one two and three let me show you what you've done and i'll show you what you need to do next all right okay pretty huh Pretty, very nice. All right, so your job now, guys, is to continue along your row, get to your corner, do three single crochets, chain two, three single crochets, remembering to put a single crochet in these two stitches here, and then single crochet all the way along, get to this stitch marker, and I shall meet you up. All righty, guys, here we are at the end of the row. I have three single crochets to do in this space. One, two, and three. One to do on the stitch. Whoops. To do on the stitch. Now I have three left. Just being weary, we didn't tighten this, so this can come loose. So just give it a big tug. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> give it a big tug. Stitch markers in the way. Do your three single crochets in there. One, two, and three. Now, when we slip stitch to join in that stitch marker we're dropping the green and we're picking up the cream yet again okay pull the loop through pull it through the loop on your hook giving everything a tug chaining one take out that stitch marker for starters and single crochet in the same space that you are in uh, cut your green yarn okay single crochet in your next stitch and your next and your next and your next next and next yes 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 that's exactly what we're going to do <laughs> we're going to single crochet 
all the way down until we get to this corner. Now, probably just get up to that last, I'll show you where, get up to that cream double crochet stitch there and just wait for me there because we're going to mess around with the corner a little bit, okay? So just get to that space right there on your first corner and if it helps, just pop a stitch marker above in that single crochet just above the um, double crochet stitch there right there sorry guys I wasn't even in frame and <laughs> just above that stitch there all right so get to that stitch there and I shall meet you up all righty guys here we are at the end of the row I'm gonna pop that single crochet just in that space I just wanted to oh it wasn't even done up properly look at that <laughs> <laughs> well, lucky it didn't come undone. It doesn't matter. We didn't need it. Um, okay, so what you've got here, in the corner you have your three. Just go right in to the very last single crochet that you did in the corner. And then I'll show you nice and close up with a needle so you know what you're looking at. You've got... Oh, I just pinned myself. <laughs> I'm doing well. But it wasn't that hard. Okay, so, all right. See that space right there? You've put a single crochet in your last single crochet of that side. Now you're going to jump into that space right there with a single crochet, chain one and two, and a single crochet. Okay? Now, right there is a stitch. Don't miss that stitch or you'll be one short. Doesn't really matter. One. Uh, I worked out you can actually fudge the pattern a little bit if you mess up in that corner. There is a way. So don't stress if you mess up the corner and it's just single crocheting all the way across. So really all you're doing in the corner is putting a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. All right. So I just didn't want to confuse you by saying that. It was probably best for me to show you. And let's have a quick look. See, we'll lay it down for a minute and make sure it lays flat. Okay. Lots of threads here. I don't know what I've done there. Here we go. That's better. <laughs> All right. So there you go. So long as it's laying flat, you've done it right. If it's like that in the corner there, then there's something not right. Okay. If it's laying flat, you've done it perfectly right. Now, again, if you've messed up the corner, like I said, it won't make too much of a difference depending on how big the mess up is. If you've lost about three stitches or something, then you're in trouble. If you mess up with one stitch, it can buckle a tiny little bit, but you can actually get away with that, all right? I'd rather you didn't, <laughs> but if you did, that's just a little tip there, all right? So now what you're going to do, guys, again, I've still got threads everywhere. <laughs> you're going to continue in that manner, do the corner just like we did this corner, get to the end of the row right here. Did I forget to put a stitch marker in? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I'll show you where the stitch marker goes, guys. I'm sorry. I hope you didn't forget to put your stitch marker in. All right, right there. Okay? That is the stitch marker. Luckily, we've got the cream, so you can actually see the stitch. All you need to do is pop it in your first V that you come to, right? That's a, a little knot there, so don't worry about that. But right on top there is the V. So pop your stitch marker in. Sorry to my newbies. <laughs> <laughs> to the regulars I think you pretty much know where that stitch was all right so continue in that manner get to the stitch marker and I'll meet you up all righty guys here we are at the end of the row I have three single crochets left one two and three now being weary the green is also still loose you need to give that a tug we are going to be weaving those in at the end sorry guys <laughs> you have to play the game <laughs> now we are going to change the colors yet again what color are you going to use I don't know but yours truly is using um, actually this color right here all right so it doesn't really matter find a color that you want to use and that's the one we're changing to right now in this very second all right so giving that light green a tug at the back slip stitching into the top of your cream drop your cream Grab your new thread, pulling your loop through and pulling it through to the loop on your hook. All right, just grabbing your threads, the green, not the cream, not that one, the cream and your new green at the back, like so. Oh, wait a minute, take the stitch marker out. Let's hope I don't forget to put it in this time. <laughs> grabbing the, the threads at the back, like so. 
chaining one and single crochet in the same space one guess what I didn't forget you know why because it was in my face and I wanted to move it out the way <laughs> <laughs> so there you go <laughs> so you're jumping straight into your next stitch with a single crochet and your next and your next and you're thinking to yourself oh my gosh let's hope the whole poncho is not single crochets <laughs> no this is your last single crochet row for this part of the pattern <laughs> oh I should have said yes just to you know, make you scared yeah no imagine that we would take us hours to get this poncho days weeks months to get the poncho finished <laughs> all right so there you go now what I want you to do do yourself a little favor hop into that very first corner that you see right there get right into that ooh, if I can get the right corner there and there it is right there in the corner hop right up to that corner just before it pop into the very last stitch oh, I've split the yarn can you believe it I'm doing well let's really separate this stitch right there all right <laughs> grab your stitch marker <laughs> don't do what i did <laughs> don't split the yarn just pop it in the corner that's better see that corner space right there pop your stitch marker there that's your first corner all right so continue along that row get to the first corner and i shall meet you up all righty guys i have a couple of stitches left one and two just before that corner so now the stitch markers right there giving it a tug you can see the space pop your first single crochet in there and a second single crochet in there just take out the stitch marker for now chaining one and two and pop in another single crochet in there and another single crochet so it's two single crochets chain two now don't forget that stitch is a stitch you need to put one single crochet in that stitch one in your next one in your next one in your next and one in your next and so on and so on and so on all right so let's have a quick look see Ugh, got threads everywhere now <laughs> they're all over the place all right having a quick look see okay it may lift up a tad just in a the corner there that's normal it's only because we're doing tight stitches around here this is the final single crochet row okay so what I want you to do is continue in that manner all the way through do your single crochets your two single crochets chain two and two single crochets there and then meet me back here at the stitch mark and get ready for what's to happen next. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the row, just finishing off my single crochets and two. Now, remember that thread, we need to give a bit of a tug, the cream. We're gonna change back to the cream now. So pop your hook, not there, <laughs> get right Mary. Give the green a tug and the cream a tug. Give them all a tug. Pop your hook in your stitch marker. Drop your green. Grab your cream. Pull it through. And pull it through the loop on your hook. Giving everything a tug. Then you're chaining one, two, three. Take your stitch marker out. Pop it in the top of your third chain. Yes. All right, and then you're putting two double crochets in the same space. One and two. And now you're chaining one. Skip one, two, three. Jump into your fourth stitch with three double crochets in the same space. Two and three. Chain one. One, two, three, and four with your three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one. And then one, two, three, and four with your three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain one. 
All right, so have a quick look, see at what we're doing here. Okay, don't forget to cut your green because you won't be using that for a while. So have a quick look, see at what we're doing here. Now, if you look carefully at what you can see here, this row right here was exactly that, except it didn't have the chains in the middle. But your work is growing a little bit now. And these single crochet rows has actually tightened up your work. So we want to make it a little bit loose for the next row. So we are adding the chains in between. That will make your work a little bit loose. So, because if you keep going tight, 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 your, your work is going to pull and it's not going to sit right on your body. So we're going to do this stitch here, which is your basic granny stitch with chains in the middle. All right, so that's all you're doing. Get yourself, all right, this is where I want you to go. I don't want you to go all the way down because when we get here, if you look carefully, let's have another look, see, so you can see, you've got your cluster set there and then you've got a double crochet, that's in your corner. Okay, so right above here, there, I think that's the stitch, is that right above it or is it the next one? Oh, we'll know when we get down there because it's chain four, but right, up, I think it's that one there, right above that stitch, just get to that cluster set there, right above it, and wait for me there because we're going to mess around with the corner a little bit to make it all even out, all right? So get to that stitch there and I shall meet you up. All right, how did you go? The way I worked it out is pretty much exactly where I thought it would be. One, two, three, and it lands in there four. So take out your stitch marker. Hopefully yours have measured up. <laughs> One, two, three, and hop into that space there with your fourth. One, two, and three double crochets. We are going to chain one, skipping one, two, and three, and jumping into that fourth stitch with your cluster set of three double crochets. Yes? Chain one. Now, right in that real tight corner there, you're gonna pop a double crochet Chain one, two, and three, and a double crochet, all in the same corner. All right, now grab your stitch marker. See your, um, see that cluster set right there? Right above it is where your stitch is. Right, that is where you're going to put your cluster set for this one right here. Yes? So, remember here? We counted one, two, three, and then we popped into the fourth one. Do yourself a favor and count four back. One, two, three, and grab a stitch marker. And that's pretty much where you're going to pop your next cluster set. All right, so you still have them four stitches apart. And so if you've messed up your stitch count here and you've got three there and two there and whatever else have you, mine actually works out to be three there and three there, so that's fine. But if you've messed up your stitch count, this is the row that it can be fudged on, all right? So um, we are going to chain one and you're just going to jump into that space, that stitch there with your stitch marker, with your cluster set, probably pays to take it out now. Once you're in, you're in. Cluster set, two and three, chain one, jump into that stitch mark you don't even need to do that anymore you just go one two three and on your fourth stitch you are putting your three double crochets two and three chain one one two three and four with three double crochets all right what we're going to do before i send you off on your own i'm just going to show you what it looks like in front so you know one what it looks like in the front so you see the difference all right there you go yeah, a little bit wobbly but that's okay all right there you go so that is pretty much what you wanted to do all right gorgeous i know right looking gorgeous you have one more round for um this particular part of the tutorial okay so what i'm going to do this time i'm going to get you to go all the way along the side don't complete that corner. I think we might have to do this corner uh, together as well, all right? So go all the way along the side.
get into this corner and I'll meet you up. Alrighty guys, this is where you should be. Now, just a quick one to let you know. If you're not sure how it's supposed to look, I'll get a nice close up for you. It literally has to be on top of your previous one. Now, if yours is a little bit out of whack and you've lost a stitch and you've, it's you know, like that kind of thing, take them undone, adjust it with this row. Because even if you've added an extra stitch here or you've got an extra stitch there or whatever you've done, you can fudge this part. Just pop your cluster set above the cluster sets here, making sure you chain one in between. So if you end up with four single crochets here and two there because you've messed up your count, that's okay. All right, so don't stress. I try to make the patterns so that you can, oh, let me bring that out a bit, so that you can actually fudge them. I mean, how gorgeous does that stitch look? Okay, we're going to do that top stitch over here as well. It hasn't finished yet, um, but I just wanted to show you this corner as well because the corners were a little tricky, even for me, and I just wanted to make sure I got it straight for the newbies, okay, because I don't want to stress anyone out. And I know I actually fought with the corner myself when I was doing the pattern, so there you go. All right, so right above that cluster set before we did our cluster set, then we chained one, we went to you know four over and we did right above that cluster set now we're chaining one so get yourself to this part here chain one all right now we go one two three and four jumping into that stitch there okay one two and three and then all you're doing here is you're chaining one jumping straight into that space oh, i'm going to take the stitch marker out and make sure i didn't split any yarn because that happens with me doesn't it <laughs> okay jump into the space with a double crochet chain one two and three and another double crochet all in the same space all right so here that can also be different so what you're going to do pop your stitch marker above the stitch that you're going to work in for that cluster set. I'm assuming that's it, yeah? Go back four, one, two, three, and four. That is where, I'll we'll grab this other stitch marker just to pop it in for now. That is where you're gonna pop your first cluster set. So if you've messed up the count here, mine looks okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, that's okay. But if you've messed up the count there, which can be done, because corners can be really tricky, yeah? If you've messed up the count, just do it this way, okay? So you're chaining one to get out of the corner. You're jumping straight into that stitch marker with one. Oh, let's take it out again now. Oh, that stitch marker's loose over there, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Two. I always forget to close them. And three. Chain one. And now you're just jumping straight into that stitch marker where your cluster set is. Pull that out, you don't need that anymore. Chain one and go one, two, three and four. And you start that across as well. well I'll just show you what you've done. Three, chain one, pull up that loop. All right, so you understand again what you've done. If you're looking at it like so, and it kind of looks a little bit twisted, that is pretty much because the stitches have messed up a little, okay? It can sit up a little bit on one side, that's normal. It's only very minimal, it'll flatten out with washing and um, blocking or washing at least, okay? So that's pretty much what you've done. You've gone all the way along there and really check that your cluster sets are above because that's the pattern that you're going to see when you look directly at it and that, actually at the moment you can almost see that pattern well you really can you just have to pop this extra row on now all right so what we're going to do put a fingers there i'm dropping everything what we're going to do is we're going to continue this row get to the very next stitch marker and i will meet you up All right, here I am at the end of the row. I have one cluster set to go. So it's one, two, three, and four. 
popping my cluster set in there two and three chain one and you should have one two three and in that fourth one should be all of that okay if you did it right if not don't stress if you've got one extra single crochet one less it doesn't matter it won't show that much pop your hook in your stitch pull a loop through like so and through to there like so uh, yes we're keeping the cream we are now chaining up one two and three just grab the stitch marker oh actually no not yet I'm sorry don't grab it yet in the next two we are putting double crochet two together so pop your hook in that first double crochet start it hold it there you've done this before with this row here so you're going to do the same start the next one okay three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops on your hook and that is where you pop your stitch marker okay in that space right there not your three double crochets not your three chains just the actual space of the the finished stitch okay so now you're chaining four this time one two three and four and you are doing the exact same thing you are skipping that chain you are jumping into the next stitch with a double crochet three together that's one yarn over two yarn over three you should now have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through all four loops chaining one two three and four and then we are doing the same thing skipping that chain jumping into our cluster set with three together now you know how to do this guys because you did that in the, the round um two or three rounds before so you pretty much know what you're doing one two three and four skip that chain jump into the stitch one two three four and so on that is pretty much what you're doing with this row okay bring that out what I want you to do now is continue along this side get to the very first corner and meet me there because we've got something different to do in that corner as well as what we did before okay it's a little different to what you saw here um, but meet me up there and we'll talk about what we're going to do in the corner alrighty guys that's what you should have okay now we are just about in the corner okay I did my last cluster set I'm chaining one and I'm going to jump into the corner with three double crochets one two and three chain two one and two and you guessed it with three double crochets okay so very basic very basic for this row it's very basic all right so that's that all right you can take that stitch marker out now i just wanted to show you the space to get into but there you go all right then you chain one and skip over all of this and go into your cluster set like normal one two and three okay chain one two and three and four <laughs> sorry <laughs> hello wake up mary <laughs> and then you just do your normal cluster set cool yeah is it is it that's very easy i like very much okay one two three four Four. let's have a look see we'll turn it around and face us to make sure that we are all on track okay I've got threads everywhere by the way guys it's something we're going to need to do after this tutorial is weave in the ends that we do have <laughs> and it's best to weave them in as you go along now have a look at that stitch is it not gorgeous I know right <laughs> so that's what I want you to do continue 
in that manner all the way around do exactly in this corner what she did in the other corner and meet me back here and get ready for what's to happen next Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of the row. I have one last cluster set to go. So I pop my hook in and finish it off. One, two, and three. Chain one, two, three, and four. Don't forget to chain that four before you slip stitch in here. Okay, so you've chained four. All you're doing is popping your hook in, pulling a loop through, Pulling it through the loop on your hook, just pull up a loop for me. Attach your little stitch marker in that loop. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Just so that, let's take out that stitch marker for starters. Just so that we can close up shop and we don't lose our stitch. All right. So what we're going to do, let's have a quick look at what we have thus far. Okay. Oops. And there you go. Simply divine. I mean... What? 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 Have a look at that. I love, love, love. I cannot wait to wear this poncho. Truly, I can't. Um, and I just, look, I don't know why, but I just love that look. Is it not gorgeous? <laughs> I think it is. All right, guys. So that is the end of part three, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join me on Wednesday afternoons live at 4 p.m., or Saturday mornings live at 10 a.m. so that we can show off some of our work and have a discussion about what's been going on during the week here at Wow Crochet. What is going to happen with your poncho next? Well, guess what? I'm not going to tell you. You're just going to have to join me with part four. <laughs> Aren't I naughty? <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things. And join me here uh, I don't know, probably Monday of next week so that we can continue with part four of the poncho. Get ready, guys. The pattern is going to change once again. What they're saying. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and ciao for now.